Wilson. I'm the uh, principal race officer, um, umpire with U.S. Sailing, national judge, club race officer, and <coughs> main yes. Um, our goal today is to run seven races. They'll be a bit longer than the usual that we run for winter sailing. And we're probably going to go down into the cove over here. So after the last race, when you're really not up for doing the hard stretch hike back in, it should be more of a reach coming back to the beach. Okay, our goal is to uh, have our first start at noon. And then after racing, uh, we'll be back here. We have a dinner of barbecue set up and a chance to warm up, chat, and get up the scores. So we'll see you then. Great. Thank you. Thank you.
people helping me on race committee. <laughs> Easton, my wife Vicki. Yay! Our perennial bark boat operator, Will Peters. Yay! And James Devins, who's joining the club this year as one of our launch operators. Oh, really? Welcome! So, it was an interesting day. <laughs> We started out with 22, <laughs> and Darwinism connected up. <laughs> so we'll just stick to <laughs> the survivors. <laughs> no, no. Give us a vote. Uh, no. Um, so we're awarding for the top three, but in fifth place was Jeff Beckwith. Hey. Fourth place, even after missing the first race, was Andrew Roosevelt. All right. In third place, Paul Clifford. Yes. Congratulations, Paul. Thanks very much. In second place, edging Paul out by one point that he would have tied and then lost the tiebreaker if he hadn't gone and hammered somebody at the last possible moment, Chris Poole. Well done. In first place, Winning by 10 points. Wow. And sailing downwind, well, probably surfing 10% more than anybody else, Lawrence McGrath. Woo! 